My name is Adrian. Tim. And this is episode number one of Numero Uno. Numero Uno. Official. And our first cigar, if you guys have seen the intro we mentioned, mm. is good. It is the Gurkha Estate Vintage Select uh-huh. Print Size. It's a 5x52 gauge. Yep. Um, it's a Dominican wrapper, binder, and filler. Yep, and uh, it's a great looking cigar. I don't know if you guys want to take a look at this. Uh, we got, um, oh, it's just beautiful. I can't, beautiful, yeah. it's the, the smell on it is just awesome. I, I can't oh, wait to light it earthy. up. Earthy. Yeah, but it's got kind of, I don't want to say sweet, but it's no. got that yeah, presence that of presence, something yeah. in there. Um, and um, appearance wise, get, if I'm looking at it, look at this. It's a really elegant cigar, as you can see, yeah. and also it has these slight veins that kind of pop out, but they don't look like they're going to mess with the burn at all. No, no, they're no. really light. Um, they're going to burn really nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just a great looking cigar. I'm, I'm loving it. I can't wait to get it up and going. So, um, yeah, so that's the uh, the view, what we think about it, and I'm not talking the liberal view that you watch on TV, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> So um, let me get my cutter out here. Oh, I'll just use yours. There we go. And by the way, this is this cutter. I don't even think they sell this model anymore. This yeah. is a really old Zikar. Ancient. And you know, Zikar is one of my favorite cutters, and I just mm-hmm. like them. The blades really don't dole out. Absolutely. My dad actually bought this in the '80s. His father. And he passed it down to me when I turned 18. So it's kind of just a nice little, you know, heritage thing, I guess you could yep. say. Mm-hmm. And family um, heirloom. It's worked great since so I do want to kind of get it uh, fixed right because it's got that lifetime warranty it has a lifetime warranty on it so yeah I mean I'm gonna probably send this in and get it get it um, uh, but before you send it I would check to make sure they're not gonna send you a new one and cap that one because uh, like you said that is a family heirloom now in a sense yeah so, well you know what the blades haven't doled out so very true I mean it still works it's yeah. great but uh, you know, I could use a little updating, a little finish on there. So just a little mini product. Yep. So that's just a little tangent. Snippet. While we're talking about equipment, we might as well bring in the lighter. Bring yeah. in the lighter. Uh, well, for the lighter right here, we actually um, this is actually a TR lighter. Mm-hmm. It is a torch um, table lighter. And TR is Tobacco Republic. By tobacco the way, Republic. In case you didn't catch our intro. And Loomis, California, and they're just a great tobacco shop. Our local tobacco yeah. shop and these guys are just awesome absolutely i mean they're knowledgeable they carry great products and they just have a what right wider range of cigars yep um one of the, one of the hotel. biggest walking humidors in california. in california yeah so i mean it's they're they're big time and they're just really nice guys and mm-hmm. great guys over there and this is actually a cool lighter because you have two different options on it and i'm just gonna Bring it up a little bit closer yeah, to the see, camera. See the camera pick it up. It just has a really nice straight burn to it like that. But it's really kind of cool because if you were to just flip this, you have that match effect. Yeah. And, and that, that really comes in handy because I know you uh, specifically like to uh, use matches. I'm a big match user. In Except. It. <laughs> Except. Oh, when does it not work? In the wind. Mm. It doesn't do good outside when it's even a slight amount of breeze. Yeah. The, the match burns faster, just it's a little bit harder to time everything. Yeah. And you know, using this, it's you know, you get a, a nice uh, cleaner burn. Even. Even burn. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. And you get kind of that, that easy lighting, you don't have to go through about ten matches to try to get yeah. your cigar lit. Yeah, exactly. Which could take time and it's a little bit irritating. So alright you guys, well we're gonna uh, get our cigars cut it and Light it off, and we'll get back to you guys. Awesome. Well, we're back. Um, we're getting close to the first third of the cigar. Yep. What did you think initially on the the first few puffs um, as you got through? Right. Well, right off the bat, um, we both noticed at the same time it had a slight pepper, uh, like a hint of pepper in the right up front, and uh, I saw it. I saw a little sparkle in your eye when that happened, and. Uh, I definitely wrote that one down. I don't want to forget that that peppery uh, sparkle. So um, I know that you said something about it being a little dark, earthy, woodsy. Um, even I threw in a little cocoa uh, word in there. Or cocoa word in there. Well, I mean, initially, yeah, you got that that slight pepper in the aftertone of the cigar. You kind of got it in the tip of your your tongue and. 
you know, I really, I really enjoy that about the cigar. And as you progress, the pepper kind of subsided for a little bit, and you actually started getting these deep, earthy, earthy notes to it, which is really quite nice. And it was actually almost expected from the pre-light. And, and actually, right now, as I'm progressing through it, the the pepper is coming back, but in a different form. Up front, it was just you know a slight pepper, but now it's actually pronouncing itself more, almost like a paprika, or a spice. Uh, so it's it's really quite nice. It's like something we're gonna put in the Rocky Patel fusion sauce. <laughs> That's a whole story of its own. <laughs> we'll get it to it someday, or maybe we'll post post a link to the Cigar Czar yeah. uh, video. Appreciate it. So. Yep. So that's basically where we're at right now. I mean, we're we're just you know heading our way to towards the first third, and so far I'm I'm liking it. What about the uh, pre light? What did you think of that? Was when we cut from the you know the pre light? I had a little uh, a little a little issue. The well, Gurkhas tend to be a little bit um, firm on the cap area, and when I cut it, I, I kind of felt that firmness, and I thought it might have been an issue with the draw, but the draw is actually fine. Um, it's just a little slightly packed. Yeah, it, it was really tight in there. I thought it was gonna be a big problem. Uh, almost seemed like it was a little too wet, but it hasn't seemed to have a problem. I do have a little vein right here. It's kind of bugging me, but I get over it. I haven't had a issue yet with the vein. Cool. Well, uh, we'll get back to you guys. Yep. Get you towards the halfway point. All right.